Greetings, brothers and sisters. I had uh, received a request about a disciple wanting me to explain the death elixir of transformation from uh, charnel whispers. Now, a lot of people have uh, misconceptions about this, even more advanced practitioners as well. See, the thing is, this is not directly meant to kill you. See, the chant with it is primarily meant to augment and change the ingredients that you put within it itself. But what it does is, when you call forth Zazazel and the others of his court, what this does is, they come forward and they align the elixir itself, which is why I wrote, I would particularly recommend charging it on Lord Zazazel's seal. And you'll notice that whatever you use as the base for that elixir, it will taste different, whatever alcoholic base you use, it's going to taste different, it's going to feel different. But what this is meant for is not killing you, it's a mock death. Let me repeat that, a mock death. And what that does is, it's a form of ghost walking. This is a form of projection that's different than astral projection. Because it's giving the entirety of your soul, your consciousness, all that makes you, you. And putting it into Karakti's, allowing it to pass easier. Basically, it's the lubrication for the soul. To slip out of vessel. Now, one of the things that were left out in the books is that you should probably do this ritual before the Black Gate itself. If you do this ritual before the Black Gate itself, you'll find much better results. But you're prepared at that point. While you're on the other side, most of the time Zazel or whoever your patron is from the Tower of Atrophy is going to have you speak a series of chants that are meant to transfigure you, transfigure your soul. And what that's going to do is you're going to notice your spirit change on the other side. It may have various forms of energies. It may have different uh, manifestations, but then when you come back to your body, your body starts changing as well. Then you start noticing the specific changes. Certain people um, have definitely confirmed, like, weaknesses if they're on the bloodstained path uh, and work primarily with vampirism. They will report a specific weakness to UV rays and sunlight, but will be extremely empowered in the nighttime hours, particularly the infernal hours, 12 between 3 a.m. in the morning. And that's when their spirits are the most active. They're more powerful around those times. But that's what that elixir does. If anything, it's a ghost walking elixir. It's a, de it's a mock death elixir. When you speak that chant over it, and like I said, I would definitely recommend I've used this and have taken this for years. Even the ingredients in it, if people are wise enough and know a bit of herbology, they'd realize that a lot of those are psychic herbs. So they awaken you. After that process, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the signs you receive, the different thoughts you receive, because you're going to notice you're going to be thinking like an entirely different being afterwards. But yes, that ritual is not meant to uh, kill you. It is to perform a mock death. And there are similar practices done so to this. There are specific monks that will ingest... Um, a similar, like, uh, it's almost like a poison. And what they do is they prep themselves while they're mastering the rainbow body. You know, and this is results in their body, bodies being so, it's a death ritual, you know. It results in their bodies being so toxified that 
they won't rot. Uh, insects, maggots, and everything will leave them alone so they're successfully mummified and the body is intact. But that too is a form of death ritual, similar to the death elixir of transfiguration from Charnel Whispers. Now, if you speak to your spirits, they might change it up if you are interested in hybridization between towers and what you infuse into your spirit. They may have you make something different entirely. But yeah, I just wanted to handle that uh, misconception. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Blessings.